Hi y'all, I'm Mel and this is Gaslight Nation. I don't know about you, but I simply can't take anyone that flies around on a private jet seriously when it comes to climate change. Never mind that they pretend the science is settled, the apocalypse cometh. Their actions speak louder than words. Bill Gates is a modern climate warrior. NBC called him a climate evangelist. I've owned three different jets in my life and I and used them and just burning them up for the Lord Jesus Christ. That sounds about right. In Gates Notes, his blog, he recommended that you try a plant-based burger. In unrelated news, Bill Gates is now the largest single private owner of farmland in the United States and the producer of impossible brand plant-based burgers. In that same blog, Gates actually writes that he has a larger than average carbon footprint. Larger than average? But no worries, Gates assures us that his 66,000 square foot home and four private jets are no problem because he buys carbon offsets. Now, the efficacy of carbon offsets is debated, but they have come a long way. Used to buying a carbon offset meant that uh, you paid somebody not to emit carbon to make up for the extra carbon you were emitting. You know, like uh, Leo, Leo DiCaprio paying some guy in Guatemala who lives in a shack with one light bulb not to emit too much carbon so he can fly around on a private jet. Uh, while a boon to the guy in the one-room shack, it was meaningless for the environment. Now, however, there are companies that actually remove carbon from the atmosphere. Their efficacy is contested. How effective are they really? I have no idea, and frankly, I don't care. Their effectiveness doesn't change the behavior of the people buying the offsets. You don't actually uh, have to emit carbon in order to buy offsets. You can buy as many carbon offsets as you want. You don't have to call it an offset. You can just by carbon removal from the atmosphere, right? If I actually believed we are on the verge of climate catastrophe, I would buy all the carbon offsets I could afford, raise my 66,000 square foot home, ground my four private jets, and stay home. Wouldn't you? And John Kerry, climate czar. I've never liked the czar thing. It's undemocratic. I looked it up recently and assuming we're not talking about a pre-World War I Russian ruler, it means someone with great power and authority. Should John Kerry have great power and authority? Like so many others, John Kerry flies around on a private jet to tell the rest of us what sacrifices we should make to our standard of living to save the planet. When asked about the hypocrisy at the time, back in 2019, here's how Mr. Kerry responded. It's the only choice for somebody like me, the time it takes me to get somewhere. I can't sail across the ocean. I have to fly to meet with people and get things done. But like most of the private jet set, Kerry makes his living running his mouth. There's nothing he does that can't be done via Zoom call. Don't believe me? Ask China. John Kerry recently flew there to have a meeting with his counterpart. Here's a picture from that meeting. That's right, John Kerry flew all the way to China to have a meeting via Zoom call because climate change. Thanks for listening. Well, you haven't got the knack of being idly rich. You see, you should do like me, just snooze and dream, dream and snooze. The pleasures are unlimited.